Hi, Adi. Adi Natal. Um, and he's from Radwin. Uh, tell us a little bit about Radwin. Okay. Um, so Radwin is a provider of uh, a way to connect people, a way to connect remote communities, to connect remote people. Um, we're providing microwave solutions. We're different in a way that we are concerned or we are addressing the markets which are more underserved or more difficult to connect. We can go long distance with high capacity, but we can do it cost effectively. When I say cost effectively, it means that we are overcoming the challenges, both technical and uh, economical, that um, are in the way of carriers to connect those remote users. So when you say remote users, we're talking about... Uh I suppose villages in India and South America and China, is that what we're talking about? People who live on the periphery and who, who aren't necessarily connected or within range of, uh, of, the, of the infrastructure that they should need to be connected. Right. Uh, um, we, we work actually all across the globe. I mean, we sell in over 120 countries today. So we do sell in the most advanced countries in, in the United States, in Europe. But uh, it's true that most of our sales are today, nearly 80% of our sales in the more developing countries, where actually those rural communities are really, really rural. They are far remote from any footprint of any network. Uh, there is no infrastructure, non-communication infrastructure, or even any other infrastructure over there. And those communities are uh, with low ARPU usually. So uh, the business case to connect them, the business case to install any connectivity for them needs to work. It's much more challenging than connecting anybody in the metro area. And so that sounds like it would be incredibly expensive to be able to set up something like that. Is it? I mean, how are you overcoming the fact that, that in these developing countries, obviously you need to be able to build something that's, that's cost-effective as well? How do you deal with that? Right. So, so the idea was that from the start we looked at those communities and those problems when we've designed our product. And the product is designed in a way that it can go a long distance and it can overcome the geographical challenges and can do it cost effectively. I mean, that's our product right here. I mean, that's our radio and that's the antenna. And that combination of radio and antenna uh, can go tens of miles, 50 miles, and deliver high capacity, many T1s or E1s to the users and a lot of Ethernet traffic. And we go up to 200 megabits uh, of Ethernet traffic, and up to 16 E1s or T1s, and with that can deliver a lot. But the idea is that it's so small and designed in a way that you can install it very easily and very simply by unskilled or less skilled stuff. You can transport it very easily. And uh, an example, you can climb the tower with that in one hand and then install it with the other hand, and that would work perfectly for all those areas where they don't have the skill stuff that you have in the metro area. So, and in addition, this is, it has such a small uh, figure that uh, it would not need the big towers that we see in the metro area. You don't need to design it for a 100 feet tower. You can install it on 20 feet, 30 feet, 10 feet sometimes, on a wooden tower. That's sometimes what you have in India and in other rural uh, countries or developing countries. And it would work. And that's why the total cost of ownership for any carrier installing it in a rural area to provide transmission, to provide backhaul for cellular base stations or for any other uh, service, that would provide the, actually a very compelling value proposition. It would, the business case would work, whereas it would not work if you're installing uh, the regular backhaul equipment, the regular microwave equipment that is designed for metro area. And that's also because the... I, I suppose your competitors also, they're trying to downsize their products and trying to suit them to a market that's not necessarily suited. That's correct. I mean, everybody can, can drop their prices and everybody can can try to go to the rural area and, and, and design and downsize it, but that's not really the story. I mean, comparing just price to price, even though our price is, is relatively less expensive than the competition, but that's not the, 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 the whole story. The whole story goes to the OPEX, to the CAPEX, to how much it costs to install it, how much it costs to transport such a system. Imagine that in some of these rural cities you need to transport, or rural villages, you need to transport it over trains and then over small cars and then over donkeys, and then sometimes they walk, they carry the equipment, they climb the towers, they don't have all these big trucks uh, and cranes to install the, the towers. So um, just the cost of installation of many of our uh, competition or comp 
competing products is much more expensive than what it would cost to install such a small and simple product. Uh, moreover, the simplicity of uh, installation proceeds with the simplicity of maintenance, simplicity of operation. And that's really where the money is. And so it's point to point. How far do you get between points in terms of coverage? Okay. So we go up to uh, 120 kilometers or 80 miles. Um, that, again, depends on the size of the antenna that you use and uh, transmission power. But more importantly, we operate in sub-6 gigahertz frequencies. And that means that we can uh, not only go large distances, but we can do that but, and still overcoming difficult terrains. Uh, we can work in non-line of sight conditions. Uh, we can work, uh, that's where we are deployed in rural areas, over water, over jungles, uh, bypassing mountains and any other opticals, whereas other microwave equipment need really high power to overcome these distances. So um, it's not only the distance, it's also the type of the terrain that you can cross when you need to deliver communication to these rural locations. And so you told me before that, that um, Radwin basically takes to the mobile market, but what other segments are you working in? Okay, yeah, Radwin's products can actually deliver any type of service to a very remote uh, location. So we are serving the cellular market. Um, we are serving uh, also internet service providers of all types, large, small. Uh, we're also serving um, government government agencies for homeland security projects where you need to, for example, protect the border. That's the, exactly the same story. You need to go really far away and uh, deliver a lot of communication. We serve armies, we serve um, municipalities, and a large number of verticals in the cities, such as banking and uh, education, and all those need communication. Actually, we provide a way and, or a mean to connect this point with that point in a very uh, cost-effective way. So anybody who needs communication can just get the link and connect. So Radwin is basically connecting the dots in communication. We point hope we are pro providing our share to this uh, important task. Actually, if you look at the mobile world today, there are over 6 billion people in the world. Only 4 billion are connected over wireless. And uh, about 1 billion of them don't even are within uh, reach to any base station. There is about one billion who can connect and they just need to go to the store and buy a phone and connect, but one billion are out of reach and all those are a large uh, population that when we will connect them, we will not only give them communication, we will actually bring them closer to the modern world, you know, enable them to overcome the bridge or the gap between the connected and the unconnected people. Mobile, mobile today is not just phone. It's a lot of application, it's a lot of commerce, it's a lot of uh, entertainment. And everybody deserves to get it. And we believe that we are working exactly at that segment that can help to do that connectivity. Because, you know, money is always, uh, is always the case. Well, thank you very much for coming and explaining that to us. And good luck connecting the rest of the world. Thank you very much.